Well, Detroit native and entrepreneur Dennis Reed is shaking up the local film industry by creating movie magic right here in the D. He's joining us to talk about his latest project and how he's spearheading movie production in Detroit. Welcome to Live in the D, Dennis. Hey, Tati, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for being with us. So let's get right into it. First off, tell us about your latest project, Indictment. Who is Jonathan Carter? Indictment, who is Jonathan Carter, is starring Jennifer Williams and Benzino and local people, Lee Master Spratman and KDZ and Velda Hunter. And it's a it's an unusual suspect kind of movie. You know, you don't know what this guy is. You don't know if he a, a, a goon or if he a father or he a business mm. owner. You know. So you don't know what's coming with this guy. You don't have a clue, and that's what made the movie so good. Everybody like, oh my god, this is your best movie. So I'm like, out of all the movies I made, this is my best movie. They're like, yeah, yo, D, this your best movie. So I'm I'm really excited that's about. Great. It. That's great. So let me ask you this. Why make movies in Detroit? Most people would have gone to L.A. or Atlanta to film. But are you looking to bring back indie movie making to the D? It's funny that people say that, but Detroit is actually, we have the number one and two, like, the, in the top ten, we have, like, four of the top ten independent movie makers right here in Detroit, from my production, Dennis L. Reed, the second production, with Homestead, and then, like, the Moolah Films and BZ and his crew. So it's like, we really are really spearheading the ind independent filmmaking in Michigan, in America. So when you, okay. if you go, they know about Detroit movies everywhere. I love it. I love it. So now let's talk about this. You cast a lot of reality stars um, in, in your film. Why do you choose talent from that world? Um, I choose talent from that world normally because they have a good following. So with me, like, I did First Lady 1 and First Lady 2, so I had, like, um, Hoops and Jim Jones and Hoops and Young Dro, and it just drives a certain market for us. You know, it's right. really cool to have local talent, but in order for us to be very, very, very successful, we got to have people that the nation know. And trying to get, like, an A-list Hollywood celebrity for, like, yeah. three four I can't afford that yet, but it's coming. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So what would you like to the film industry to look like in our own backyard here in Detroit? Um, I would just like it to be more acceptive to us. You know, it's really, in Atlanta, it's really easy to get locations. It's a, a, a big talent pool in Atlanta. And we have a lot of talented people here in Detroit, but I wish that we had more. And I wish we had more easy, you know, uh, more locations, more love towards us. But, I mean, mm -hmm. that should be really good. It's just here. <laughs> you yes, know? yes. It'll come. Once, once it gets normalized, more and more will come. So let everybody know where they can stream this movie. Well, you can stream Indictment, Who is Jonathan Carter, and the rest of my movies on Tubi, on Amazon Prime, and also on IMDb TV.